Tech family, I am so glad to finally be back. Today, I'm gonna to tell you where the hell I was for the last month and share some exciting news with you. Here it is. I've moved into a new apartment with a dedicated studio for YouTube. This will enable me to produce more content for you. So today, I thought I'd give you a tour and tell you about it. Oh, and before I do, some extra good news. This video is not sponsored by Skillshare, Storyblocks, or Squarespace. Thank the Lord. So let's just get straight into the content instead. This apartment is literally twice the size of the old place, which is phenomenal given that I'm now working from home, which I love. Please ignore the state of the apartment. A lot of the furniture is still arriving. The jewel of my new apartment is this large second bedroom, which I'm gonna convert into a dedicated office and studio for YouTube. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm gonna place my main work desk here in front of the window. I can sit here with a laptop monitor off to the side, look out at that beautiful view while I'm working. When it comes to making videos, this is where the space becomes super cool. The room will convert from an office into a studio. There is going to be two main filming locations. The first one is right here. I'll be sitting in front of my desk and computer, then in front of me will be a sit-stand desk with the product on top that I'm talking about. Now, this is where it gets slick. The sit-stand desk will be on wheels and so will the main key light with the camera attached to it. This means I can quickly transform the setup to a different shooting location over to my right. Thanks Josh, I'll take it from here. In this location, I'll be standing behind the sit-stand desk and behind me will be a really cool looking set of shelves showcasing different technology. Funnily enough, right now, without the shelves and desk in front of me, I kind of feel I look a little bit like Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Hi Lisa! That Josh over there always steals the show. There will also be a third shooting location for streaming, where I'm sitting at the computer and the camera is shooting this way. I want to have the ability to just go live on say a Friday evening and answer questions real time that people might have. Overall, I believe that by having several different shooting locations, it will make the content more interesting for you to watch and more interesting for me to create. By the way, this room is going to have plenty of acoustic dampening panels added, so please be patient with the echo. There are so many benefits of this space. The most important though is how it will enable me to save time so that I can make more videos. I personally love challenges that I believe in, like developing a highly optimized workflow for making videos. As you might know, I'm doing this part time and the only way I'm going to scale is to improve my efficiency. In my old apartment, I analyzed my process and found it took about 20 hours to make a 12 minute video. You can see my process on screen. I tried a bunch of different things, but the best I could achieve, even after hiring a video editor to do some of the editing, I was still at about 16 hours per video. I was hitting a wall in that old apartment, both figuratively and literally as it was super small. No matter how I optimized that apartment, like with storage, because of its size, I couldn't leave my YouTube equipment set up. So every time I wanted to make a video, I had this dread of having to spend over an hour setting up the space, then 30 minutes to pack it down. Straight away, this new space saves me 1.5 hours just there. What made things tougher in that apartment was that the windows faced due west with no blackout blinds installed. From about midday onwards, the light would change dramatically in the room as the sun started to set outside the window. This meant I couldn't film past that time. I constantly had this stress of having to get up super early on my weekend to film. What compounded this problem was because I often film say b-roll at different times, I'd have to spend hours matching the colors and white balance in the final edit. This room will have blackout blinds installed, so I can completely control the light, plus it faces due north anyway. That will be another big time saving just there. A further benefit of this apartment is it has internet with much greater upload speeds. Check this out. In my old apartment, I could only upload to the video editor or YouTube at a max of about 35 megabits per second. This apartment has internet that can upload at around 10 times that speed. This means we can turn videos around much faster as it doesn't take around 12 hours to upload a video. The nail in the coffin though was this. The background noise. My last apartment was above a ferry terminal, outside the trash area, close to the elevators and opposite the United Nations building, so there were constantly helicopters flying outside the window. I literally had to do about 10 takes of everything to find one that didn't have distracting background noise. As you can see, creating videos which I love became a very stressful experience. With this apartment though, 
I think I can save at least three hours in the video making process. Plus, by having the setup constantly up with a workbench table, it will encourage me to just wander in and make more videos. Anyway, enough on the channel, let's continue with the tour. There is a second bathroom to my left, which is super handy when I have guests. I've got a washer and dryer in the apartment, which I didn't have in the last one. Then over here is the hallway. There is plenty of space to sit down and take off your shoes. There's also a coat closet over there, which will be very handy for winter. Here is the kitchen and it's massive, which is great as I prepare almost every meal at home because I'm into healthy eating. Onto the living room. Let's walk over to the window so you can take a look at the view. If you sit on the couch and are looking this way, you'll see the incredible skyline view of Manhattan. It looks amazing. By the way, this apartment looks a lot like my old place because I've got the same furniture in here. I'm actually using my own interior design company, Decorilla, which I co-founded a couple of years ago for the designs. Here is a sneak peek at what the office slash YouTube studio will look like furnished. I'm certainly not here to sell you on Decorilla, but if you are looking for a top-notch interior design space at a fraction of the price of traditional design, I'll post a link in the description below with a coupon for a discount for you all. Before we move on, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second. One of the reasons I originally started this channel was because I felt that by having an audience, it would push me to achieve things that I've always wanted to do, but hadn't. I love fitness and health. It's probably the number one thing that makes me feel good. I felt if I had you guys watching my progress, it would push me to be fitter and healthier. That being said, you seem to prefer me talking about laptops more than anything else, but this apartment is going to help here, as it has a gym and pool in the building. My last one didn't have either anywhere within a mile radius. I used to swim regularly with a team for exercise prior to the situation we are all in now. I was getting mentally depressed as my fitness slipped away. I've already been here a week or more and have gone swimming every day, and I can feel my mindset becoming more positive. Let's continue the tour. Here's the bedroom, it's nice and spacious. As we walk over to the bed, you can see the view. Similar to the lounge room, a glorious panoramic view of Manhattan. As I slowly turn around, you can see there is an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in wardrobe. Plenty of space for someone who lives and works in their apartment. This is an insane apartment. Words can't explain how much more positive mentally I feel by being here. And because everyone is currently leaving the New York City area for more space, I was able to rent this at a great price. That being said, I want to get serious for a second. I have paraded in front of you a lot of wonderful things. A beautiful apartment, what will be a top of the line office and YouTube studio, and discussed interior designs. Many of you watching this channel are students starting your career, or don't have this kind of money to spend. Obviously, I cannot put myself in your shoes, nor would I dare. However, I want to ask you this. I didn't come from money, and I had no lucky breaks in my career. It was a ton of hard work, goal setting, focus, and a relentless pursuit of self-improvement. If you do want me to share my career path and learnings along the way, leading to how I can afford a place like this and so many laptops, I'd be happy to take a break from making videos on tech to do that. I am here to help. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and the notification bell, I would certainly appreciate it. Until next time, I will catch you later.